I seem to have loved you in numberless forms, numberless times. In life after life, in age after age, forever. My spellbound heart has made and remade the necklace of songs that you take as a gift, wear round your neck in your many forms, in life after life, in age after age, forever. Whenever I hear old chronicles of love, its age-old pain, its ancient tale of being apart or together, as I stare on and on into the past, in the end, you emerge, clad in the light of a pole star, piercing the darkness of time. You become an image of what is remembered forever. You and I have floated here on the stream that brings from the fount, at the heart of the time, love for one another. We have played alongside millions of lovers, shared in the same shy sweetness of meeting, the same distressful tears of farewell. Old love, but in shapes that renew and renew forever. Today, it is heaped at your feet. It has found its end in you. The love of all man's days, both past and forever. Universal joy, universal sorrow, universal life. The memories of all loves merging with this one love of ours and the songs of every poet, past and forever. Kate, you are my best friend, my life partner and the love of my life. I promise to celebrate and get excited with you in good times and support you in bad. I promise to respect you, to put you first and never take you for granted, to surprise you in the best ways and to always try my absolute best to make you smile. I promise to always offer you the last bit of any dessert that we share. <laughs> but most importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally for as long as I live. I promise to love you for the rest of our days, to encourage you, to be your biggest supporter and comfort you in good times and bad. I promise to always be honest with you and to trust you to do the same. I promise to be your best friend and be loyal to you always. I also promise to do a show and tell every time I do a food shop <laughs> and to watch the golf with you on Sunday. Finally, I promise to remember how happy we felt today and that the small things are really the big things. I'm honoured to be your wife and I can't wait to see what the future brings. I said when I asked you to marry me that you saying yes would make me the proudest man in the world and I'm so glad that you did. Uh, when we first met I, I wasn't in the best place, I was struggling a fair bit with anxiety and lack of confidence but I knew almost straight away that you were my person. You would somehow managed to make me feel so at ease whilst at the same time asking me so, so many questions. <laughs> and I, I know that I can be a bit crab it from time to time um, and I probably don't say it enough but I truly feel so lucky to be with someone as intelligent, caring, funny and beautiful as you are. Sushi in the theatre. Two of the many things I'd never done before I met Kate, and which I now really enjoy. Um, not only have you suggested, or in some cases forced, me to try so many new things, you also te teach me new things all the time. Um, for those of you that don't know this about Kate, in addition to just generally being incredibly intelligent, she has some of the most random and wide-ranging knowledge of anyone I've ever met, <laughs> and also has an incredible vocabulary. So it's actually scary how often I say, I've never actually heard that word before, what does that mean? Or just, what? <laughs> Um, but not only do you teach me, you also challenge me, for the most part, in the right way. And you always value me so highly and encourage me to value myself in the same way. I'm so proud to be able to call you my wife 
and I can't wait to continue making great life memories with you, starting with this weekend and then our trip to Italy. And on that note, I'd like you all to be upstanding if you can and join me in a toast to my beautiful bride, to Kate. <laughs>